Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, we're going to be working on Todd's Nissan Pathfinder. As you can see here, his wheels are pretty dirty. Uh, it gives us a good chance to try out the Stoner Car Care Brake Dust Eraser. They actually sent this to us. We're not sponsored by them, but then once in a while, they'll send us some stuff to try out. Uh, it says safe for all wheels. I'll go into that a little bit later. Basically, you just soak it in the bucket to soften it, agitate the wheel, and then rinse the wheel off. They also did send this wheel cleaner. I have used it in the past. Is it the best wheel cleaner I ever used? No, uh, but it does work fairly well. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of like a scotch Brite pad. It's just really soft compared to like a scotch Brite. Todd's a little, <laughs> little unsure about this one. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and pre-rinse any wheels that we want to clean, making sure to throw the eraser into the, a bucket of soapy water. Just regular car wash soap is fine. Uh, that'll help loosen up the sponge a little bit. And then as far as wheel cleaner goes, use whatever wheel cleaner you want to use for that day. Uh, this wheel cleaner is nice since it is a gel, so it really clings to the wheel. doesn't all run off and dry up right away. Uh, that's one thing I do like about this wheel cleaner. And then it's pretty self-explanatory from there on out. Just scrub it how you normally would with a microfiber towel or wash mitt. Uh, yes, it is a little bit more aggressive than a microfiber towel or wash mitt. So I'd be careful if you were planning to do like gloss black wheels or maybe like a polished aluminum wheel. I know it does say it's safe for all wheels, uh, but if you got some super fancy gloss black wheels, I'd probably be extra careful. And then just rinse off the wheel and move on to the next one. To be honest with you guys, I was a little skeptical when Stoner first sent me this product to try out. But now that we've been using it in the shop for a few weeks, I don't know if it's one of them products that I wouldn't want to have in my wheel bucket. Uh, we use it a lot on chrome wheels, wheels like this. It works really well for the lug nut holes. And it's one, it's so inexpensive, it's worth just having around for them cases where we need something like this but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it had some added value for you if you're interested in adding this tool to your wheel bucket i'll put a link in the description below like i said i'm not sponsored but it's one of them products that's worth checking out thanks and have a good day